Hello everyone and welcome back to the Duchess of Unicorn YouTube channel. I just want to stop and say I hope you're having a blessed day. I hope you're safe and well. Okay, so it's May 13th and thank goodness it's not Friday. For those of us who believe in superstitious stuff, it's not Friday, but it's the 13th. Okay, so here we see that we're on the Duchess of Unicorn YouTube channel. And before I even go any further, remember to subscribe. And of course, if you find videos that you, you find, you know, interesting or they pique your interest, then of course, I'd love it. It would be such an honor to have you subscribing and hitting the alert bell so that you can get notified. As you see, I have plenty of videos, folks. And if you haven't seen some and you just want to binge watch something, go ahead and hit play all, which is located at the top of the page when you hit videos when, you know, while you're on the page. So I have quite a few and I love it. And my, of course, I'd love to know your thoughts on it well, as well. So what's really interesting as the, I've noticed that in the beginning, when I started to, to create this channel, create videos, I had tons of views. I had quite a few views and they were like up in the thousands um, in the first week that I, or, you know, the first week or two that I started doing videos. And now I see that they are actually much, much lower. So YouTube does take views away. Um, and I'm not sure why that happens. I'm sure there's other YouTubers that know why that happens, but they do something with their viewership on certain, maybe they were coming through a different channel or maybe they were random people, uh, you know, just maybe peeking on. Here's the playlist. I have scaled down the playlist and in this playlist, um, there's just a few and I don't really remember if I put everything in here, but I don't want this video to be too long. So you see, I have a few different, actually this is in here as well. And so is the Rothschilds family tree. So if you get a, a chance to check out some of these, videos in the Royals on Priority, go ahead and do so. Okay, so I want to get off this. And the first one I want to look at today is on the Her website. I'm going to scroll down. Now this is from a few years ago and it's about Megan's resume because in the past few videos I have touched upon thinking that my prediction is that Megan will in fact run for some type of political office. Although I know it makes sense that she doesn't have the background per se and the experience, right? Well, either did Mr. Trump and also other people have done a jump from one career to another. However, now that she's a duchess and I lose that, use that term very loosely, I see things can be kind of sped up in a hurry, just like the wedding and can be laid down to make a path. So if we don't see it for this election because it is it obviously is tight, but there isn't a definite vice president nominee. There isn't a candidate yet. So you know, you never know. However, I do admit that it's kind of, it's, you know, it's, it's hopeful that she would even be able to do that. However, I think maybe we might see something in 2025. Okay. So here, Meghan Markle's old CV has emerged and it seems she lies like the rest of us. She has a working proficiency in Portuguese, a love of theater, a keen triathlete. Um, I love the word play with keen triathlete. I love that, like keen, like a like she's really focused or she she's really good at. I don't know. 
Um, we should challenge that because I have not ever seen anything about Megan running a marathon or doing anything like that. So I'm going to skim this, this article with you just so we can peruse the internet looking for things. It's not five minutes already. So this will not go too long. I hope it's not that we lie per se on our CVs, but when it comes to job hunting, most of us <clears throat> embellish our skill set. And it seems that Meghan Markle is no different. Yep, an old resume of the actress and princess in waiting has now surfaced and it has made us love her even more. Now understand this was a few years back when this article came out. The document was attained by TMZ and it appears to date from a period before she landed suits. Interesting because she landed suits after she married Trevor Ingleson. But her CV is from prior to her job at Suits. On it, it lists her acting credits on Fringe, Cuts, and A Lot Like Love. So far, so standard. However, it is within the skills section that the old gem, that old gem, that Miss Markle really goes to town. She says she's proficient in the likes of baseball, golf, swimming, horseback riding, snowboarding, and even baton whirling, twirling. Okay. Megan also claims she's well-versed in more than a dozen forms of dance, speaks three languages, sings pop and country, and plays guitar, drums, and finger cymbals. So you all must find that really interesting because I know I do. It's like, when did we ever see her in any show, movie, or interview or anything perform the guitar? I'd love to see it. And I wish someone would call on her to play it. I'd love to know that she sings pop and country. That doesn't mean that she does it well. And she speaks three languages. Folks, we have never heard her speak another language. However, I did think that I saw her when she was doing the jumping from country to country, doing some duties as a royal, I did think that she had a few lines in a different language. So, um, so I guess I have seen her, but nothing where she seemed fluent and at ease with it. Megan's 36. And of course, according to this, she's going to marry Prince Harry in the future, which has passed. But I thought you might like that because have you heard Megan speak any of the three languages, which it doesn't specify, but I believe one of them is French. Um, I, I haven't. So let's go over to this little, this little, um, people.com, which is her people.com is basically her bitch. They basically pump out a lot of pro Megan stuff, but let's just skim it for fun today. We're at eight minutes so far. Markle to speak French at Canada House in first outing of 2020. Megan Markle has studied French and Spanish, but has previously revealed that she wants to brush up on her language skills. Megan Markle got shy about showing off her language, language skills. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped out for the first outing in the new year on Tuesday, visiting London's Canada House to thank them for the country's hospitality during their recent Christmas vacation. While speaking to a gathered staff, Prince Harry suggested that his wife speak to them in French, one of Canada's two official languages. No, she exclaimed, mocking Hara, despite her multilingual abilities. The Duchess of Sussex studied French for six years and also completed an internship at the U.S. Embassy in Buenos Aires during her time at Northwestern University, where she learned to speak Spanish according to her official page on the royal family's website. Instead, Megan stuck to English as her, as she told the staff, I want to say happy new year and thank you. And my husband said, and as my husband said, my good goodness, it was just such an incredible time we were able to have there and with our son too. So she goes on, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And I just wanted to point this out. So she speaks French, 
and it's apparent that she had that very lovely, very lovely here. She speaks French and Spanish and apparently supposedly Portuguese as well. But none of us have heard her in all these years speak one of those languages. Now, I'm not sure what you think, but I find it really interesting that she can just say anything and put out there anything and it's actual, like, it's like throwing something against the wall and seeing what sticks. I don't know what you think, but let me tell you, if she becomes president, it won't be, you know, important that she knows these languages fluently, but to say that you know them and to put them on your resume as saying that you speak three languages fluently, you have uh, more than a dozen forms of dance that you can perform that you're well versed in and that you sing. Wow. And she plays guitar. I would love to see her play guitar or the, the drums even, but finger cymbals. Wow. That's impressive, Miss Megan. All right. So maybe you guys are right. Maybe we don't need a finger, symbol, guitar playing, three language speaking, baton throwing, actress, former actress, presidential or vice presidential candidate. Yeah, we probably don't need that, do we? All right, I will see you in the next video. And remember, I welcome you to subscribe, to share your comments and to join me once again in the next video coming up. Right now, I'm actually busy doing some other things, some other projects, but I do want to be able to squeeze in during the week, periodically, some shorter videos. So please remember to go ahead and thumbs up if you have anything that makes sense in this video that you like, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.